Good evening, Southeast Texas. It's just been a beautiful day across the area. It was a chilly morning and uh, we'll see another chilly night coming up across the area. Looking at clear skies over in Jasper, courtesy of Provalis, part of the roofing 911 sky cam network. Here's your planner over the next seven days. Early next week, Monday and Tuesday, we're looking at uh, near normal temperatures, cool nights and highs near 80. Then as we head towards Wednesday, probably Wednesday night into Thursday, showers and another cold front, severe weather not expected. Then chilly dry weather returns to Southeast Texas as we close out the week and head into the weekend. So both days, Monday and Tuesday, close to 80. That's above normal, which is 76. Normal low is 55. We'll be above and below that coming up the next couple of days. Cold front comes in on Wednesday, and then look at those temperatures cooling on down into the 40s, well below your normal low temperature, which is 55. It'll be 48 Friday morning, 46 Saturday morning, and those highs may struggle to 65 because of the rain and also the cooler air moving in on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Otherwise, as far as rainfall, looks dry the next couple days. However, Wednesday night, a 60% coverage of showers, 40% on Thursday, and that's all she wrote. Otherwise, across our area, looking at clear skies as temperatures cool down. I always love this time of year because you can see when you use infrared satellite imagery. It's not a picture of the clouds. It's the satellite is uh, derived from temperatures of the clouds. So it's just looking at the ground right now, but you can see the Bessie Heights Marsh. You can see Sam Rayburn. Let's see uh, areas, Dam B, Lake Livingston, all the marshes in through Cameron Parish. Fascinating to look at. Otherwise, weather watchers in Port Arthur, MJ Pontegrave reporting 62 and Beaumont is 58. And orange 57 further to the north, already down to 52 degrees in Jasper. And as you can see, temperatures across East Texas in the 50s, 40s up into Amarillo by morning, and 60s and 70s down in South Texas. Otherwise, this next front, it's going to slowly, and I mean slowly, inch its way towards our area. Won't be here till Wednesday night. A few clouds out in West Texas. We'll see those coming up tomorrow. In the upper levels, we have seen a westerly wind. And that means warming temperatures the next couple of days. Then as we head towards, say, Wednesday morning, we'll be watching this disturbance over towards Utah and also Wyoming. That will drag a cold front in. See the trough of low pressure with a northwest flow, and that means some beautiful weather. But it's going to be cooler as we head on into late this next week. Tonight, clear skies expected as lows fall into the 50 degree, degree range up in the lakes. Low to mid 50s in the triangle. Lots of sun tomorrow as highs rise to near 80. On the Gulf of Mexico, looking at mostly smooth seas around a foot with an easterly wind. Tonight, near 50 in the lakes. Low to mid 50s in the triangle. Tomorrow, lots of sun. Highs near 80. And beautiful weather coming up Monday into Tuesday. And then uh, looking at uh, our chance of rain coming in Wednesday night into Thursday morning as that cold front pushes on in. Looks like it's going to be cooler as we head on into Friday, Saturday with lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s. Next Sunday night, or I should say Sunday morning at 2 a.m., don't forget to fall back one hour as daylight saving ends across 